Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a review of one of my favorite vintage lenses. The Canon FD 50mm 1.4 FD. And this is just really one of my favorite vintage lenses to shoot with. I've been using it for about a year. Ever since I got my Nikon Z6, this is a lens that I've used. And it's just an excellent lens despite its age. We're going to go around the room, take some pictures with it, and talk about why it's one of my favorite lenses. Let's go do that. So in terms of image quality, I really love how this lens uh, renders colors and it's very, it's quite sharp uh, and doesn't suffer from a lot of issues like color fringing and stuff like that. I haven't noticed a lot of problems when I'm editing my photos and uh, pixel peeping and all that. A very, really very good performance for a lens of this age. Uh, there, it doesn't, it will produce some very spectacular flaring if you shoot against uh, highlights. Uh, like the, shooting into the sun, it will look pretty crazy, but uh, actually I really like that effect. So like in this one video clip I shot, I love the, the flare of the sun in this, in this. I feel like it's very cinematic and very beautiful. So you can use that to your advantage, but be aware that this lens is not as clinically perfect as a modern lens. It's just very beautiful in its own way and sharp enough to uh, really be useful too. So. Overall, I really like the, Im the uh, image quality of this lens. Now, for build quality, you really can't beat uh, vintage lenses. They were just, you know, they were built of better materials, I feel. Uh, plastic, you know, modern plastics are lighter and probably fine. But there's something to an old vintage lens. The, the metal, the solid metal design, it feels like it built like it really was built like a tank. Uh, and it just... It's fun to use because of that. It feel it's very satisfying to use. You know, like like a vintage camera, like shooting with film. There is a certain aesthetic to shooting with this lens that I in, I I actually really enjoy, and with vintage glass in general. And uh, yeah, that's part of the reason that they've survived over the years is because they are so well built, and it has a very nice clicky uh, aperture dial. That's um, Again, very satisfying to use, and a very well damped uh, focus ring. It's, um, overall, I have no complaints over build quality, and that's definitely one of the advantages of, moder of vintage lenses in general. So in terms of price, this lens is dirt cheap. You can find it for around 50 bucks on eBay, which is an incredible value for such a great 50 millimeter lens with a f.14 aperture. It's very compact, very portable, and overall just a great lens to, to use and work with. Uh, it's also great to use on my Nikon Z6 here. Uh, the built-in image stabilization in this camera and the focus peaking. Um, really lend new life to vintage lenses like the 50mm 1.4. You can check out my review of the camera right up here. But in terms of the 51.4, I can absolutely recommend it if you're looking for a, a cheap, affordable 50mm lens. You don't mind using manual aperture or manual, manual focus. Uh, it's a great, sharp, affordable 50mm lens, and I love it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you subscribe, uh, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye.